Hey there, Creepy Collectors. How's it going? It's Douglas here at Drumway Productions, and today we're going to be taking a look at some recent Halloween scores. A couple of these pieces are from Spirit Halloween. A couple of these pieces are from a recent Walmart trip where they finally put out some of the masks we were looking for. So what we have here is a cheap eBay score. You guys know I love vintage Halloween decorations, and these popped up for pretty cheap. I like the design, so I went ahead and picked them up. I have cracked it open, but I have not taken a look inside. So let's get these out. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to love hanging these up. So first up, we have a haunted house with a werewolf, a couple of ghosts, a skeleton, a little, uh, little mouse on top of the skeleton's hat. It's a pretty cool decoration. Of course, these are double-sided. Most vintage decorations are, but not all of them. Here we have a classic skull. I remember seeing this one in my school. One teacher had one of these on their door during Halloween and I always thought it was a really, really cool design. And if I recall correctly, I think they made like a Santa hat out of construction paper and put that on him because he's missing his two front teeth. So all he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. A nice little cutesy black cat on top of a tombstone. Yet again, this is stuff you would see in like early school or just I guess like government buildings maybe. But even still, I love these designs. This one might be one of my favorites. We've got the skeleton with a jack-o'-lantern in the graveyard petting the black cat. So four nice little vintage Halloween decorations. I got them for very cheap, so I'm really happy to pick those up. And everything else in today's video is Scream related. The next group of stuff is actually a gift that was sent. These next few items were sent by my friend and fellow collector, Samir Ghazi. Samir sent in a few different gifts over time, and he had some really, really cool surprises for me. I was not expecting this package at all, and I did go ahead and crack into it. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. First up, we have this small metal sign with Scream artwork printed on it. Unfortunately, it did get a little bit bent up during postage, but still, it is a really, really cool art piece, and I'll probably hang this up in my art studio. The next piece is pretty unique to the collection. We kind of have like a Ghostface kitchen set started here. We've got drinkware, we've got food, but we don't have, you know, any utensils, I guess, yet, or hand towels, except for this one. For just a moment, I thought that this was something that was possibly made by Clive Barzilia, because there is a shirt that you guys have probably seen me wearing on this channel that has a very, very similar piece of artwork, except it's a K&B mask. And uh, yeah, this would match that shirt pretty well, and pretty sure it's just a hand towel. I don't think that this is official. I looked all over and didn't see any copyright information or any kind of tag, so I'm guessing this is just something maybe he had made custom. But the next item absolutely is official, and this is something that we'll probably see quite a bit of use. Here we have one of the ghost face fleece blankets. Undoubtedly you guys have seen these either at Spirit Halloween or possibly even Spencer's. I think maybe Spencer's has like some Japanese writing on it or something. There's a few different variants. So there's this normal one, I think there's a bloody one, and then there's the Japanese print one which may actually be the bloody one. But uh, I'm not collecting all the apparel and stuff like that quite to that degree. It would be impossible to keep up with. But this is still a really, really nice quality blanket, and because it's already unsealed and there's no package with it, it will definitely see use. And what has to be my favorite piece that Samir sent over, I'm already wearing it, you can tell what it is. This is a MTV Scream Brandon James poncho. However, this actually happens to be a very, very special poncho because Samir managed to find a couple of the original exact style poncho that was modified to be used on screen for the show, and he picked those up, he went ahead and modified them pretty much in the same way that they were in the show, just looking at my videos, and uh, now I have one. And he's put together a pretty amazing Brandon James costume himself, and I guess he had this spare poncho that he decided to send my way, which is awesome because he actually sent me a mask beforehand, so now I'll pretty much have a complete Brandon James costume that was sent over entirely free by Samir, so thank you so much, Samir. All right, next up, we're gonna take a look at the masks I picked up at Walmart. Guys, I have done several, several vlogs going to Walmart, trying to see if I couldn't find the hanging decorations for Devil Face and Ghost Face, along with the new masks in the shelves. And every single time I tried to vlog it, they did not have it. And of course, the one time I went without a camera on a quick grocery run, they actually had the masks. So I went ahead and went through what they had and picked out the best copies. The first one we're going to be taking a look at is a new Fun World design entirely, and this was made by someone in the community, Mr. Clive Barzilia. Here we have the Silent Screamer mask. So apparently these masks are appearing in Dollar General as well as Walmart, $8 regardless of where you find it. The masks are pretty much going to be the same, maybe some slight variance in the paint job, but other than that, I think you can find the female Silent Screamer that has hair 
You can find those at Dollar General, but not at Walmart. But they have different style tags. Of course, this is the Walmart version. And it's kind of a bland tag for Walmart, especially compared to those classic orange tags back in the day. However, at least it does have an image of the mask on the tag. That's kind of something that we as Fun World fans like to see. Back of the tag is, you know, really bland, not a lot to talk about. So let's talk about the mask itself. As far as the sculpt, I think this thing is pretty awesome. When I first saw Clive make this, I thought it looked something like the Grudge. Obviously not exactly like that character, but still in that same vein. And to see it made by Fun World is even cooler because it's obviously, with the elongated mouth, kind of an ode to the Weeping Ghost or Ghost Face mask. And to see them produce it is really cool. The airbrushing and shading on these is going to be pretty basic. Usually you'll just see the eyes blacked out, a little bit of spotting here on the forehead, maybe a little bit in those forehead creases. But overall, there was a lot of variety between them, so I would say just look through whichever ones are on the shelves and pick out your favorite. Or if you're ordering it online, it's going to look pretty good as is, or it would be a very, very simple mask to repaint. The next mask I picked up is one of the Devil Face masks. These are available in Spirit Halloween this year for almost pretty much twice the price as what you're going to pay in Walmart. And as far as I can tell, there's no discernible difference between those copies other than the tag being a little bit smaller. So if you're just worried about getting one to detag it and wear it, I would say maybe check at Walmart. And I guess also perhaps the quality of the ones at Walmart could be a little bit worse, either due to them being damaged by being handled by children or just so many different people. Or uh, maybe it was just the ones I saw. But whenever I went to Walmart and saw them on shelves, they were all pretty messed up. They were like the original runs where a lot of the mouths were just destroyed. And even those had like worse quality paint with the red. And I even saw a few horns that were like cracked open some. So I would just say yet again, look through the ones on the shelves and try to pick out the best one. This one doesn't really have any issues at all. It's actually quite a nice copy. And as far as I can tell, you know, no real issues. It's still got the blood drop on the back of the hood. It still has the Velcro back here. I don't think the uh, faux leather is any thicker or thinner. And, you know, it's a nice quality mask, especially for eight bucks. And that does it for the Walmart pickups. I'm still on the lookout for the hanging decorations, but I have not seen those yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the few things I picked up from Spirit. Both of these products are pretty much the same thing, so I guess we'll review them at the same time. Here we have the new Spirit Halloween Chrome Ghostface Masks. The first thing I want to point out is there are two different sizes of Chrome. If you guys haven't already seen my visit to Spirit, I just want to point it out now. These are the adult sizes, standard adult size plastic mask. These are the child sizes, much, much smaller. Now I thought that they would put child size on the tag to this mask, but they didn't. Both tags are pretty much the same exact, except for this one says 8+, plus, this one says 15+, plus, and all the lettering is in red on this one, on the child size, whereas the adult is in white, so just make sure you're paying attention to the size on the masks if you're going to pick these up. As far as the paint jobs on them, they're all, you know, hit or miss. I noticed more problems with the chrome paint than the mouth paint, but some of them do have either, like, missing mouth paint or just chipping in the middle of it or like debris I guess getting caught in the paint that looked kind of uh pretty rough but I got lucky enough to go through a box full of these and pick out the best ones and even these have very very slight issues but overall they're pretty damn nice masks especially for the price these are almost 20 these are like 15 dollars and obviously you can use the 20 percent discount to get them even cheaper I would say pick up the child size if you actually want a child to wear it or if you maybe want to use it for a display or something Otherwise, there's no real reason. I just got it because I'm a completionist. It is a different style tagged mask after all, but these, however, I would say if you get the opportunity and you're a Screaming Ghostface fan, pick up at least one of these for yourself because these, of course, do make a quick cameo in the newest Scream film, Scream 5 or Scream 2022, whatever you want to call it, as the Stab 8 or Stab mask. So uh, to see these brought back to stores is pretty awesome. These are pretty expensive now if you get them in the 25th anniversary box set, and I believe they're almost the same exact mask. Those might have a bit better quality paint job, but those are quite expensive online if you can find them. These are pretty cheap in stores, so go grab one if you're a fan trying to complete your movie mask collection. And with that being said, guys, I guess there's nothing left to do but give you guys some close-ups of the items featured in today's video. Thank you to the Spirit employees who put aside the box full of these masks for me. I do greatly appreciate it. 
And a huge thank you to Samir for all the lovely extras that you sent me, including this awesome poncho. I guess at some point in the near future we'll have to do an upgraded version of the original Brandon James Killer costume video that I put together. Hope you're all enjoying all the videos so far this season. Thank you for watching. I love you all and see you next time.